What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at the new release ratings of players on my favorite team, Manchester City. These are the cards as released by EA that will most likely be in the ultimate team part of FIFA 16. So to kick off this video we start with the bronze keeper Richard Wright. He comes in with a 63 overall rating which is one higher than his 62 overall card in FIFA 15. Next we have Patrick Roberts. He was recently signed from Fulham and his, his card is a right mid 65 overall silver card and this rating is 2 down from his card in FIFA 15 and hopefully this guy will pop into some first team action sneaking at the right mid position in the near future for Manchester City. Up next we have Kalechi Ihana Nacho. <laughs> I know I pronounced that wrong but this pacey Nigerian striker comes in with a 67 overall and 85 pace which is huge for a silver card. He'll definitely feature a lot of silver squad builders and silver teams throughout FIFA 16. The last of our silvers is Bruno Zuccellini, a very nice silver uh, center midfielder. Zuccellini gets a, a 74 overall card, excuse me, which is one up from last year's FIFA 15 card. The first of our gold cards is Aston Villa transfer Fabian Delph, and Delph recently arrived to Manchester City after promising his allegiance to Villa. So Villa fans aren't too happy with him, but this central midfielder picks up a 77 overall card, which is two up from his card last year. He's featured man of the match cards and some inborn cards last year as well. Willie Caballero is our next gold card with a 78 overall, one down from last year. After coming in last year from Malaga, I believe, uh, this keeper battled it out with Hart at the beginning of last season, but Joe Hart's amazing campaign uh, sealed him a new contract, which means Caballero pretty much won't see much playing time this year except for maybe some, like, early cup runs. Alexander Kol Kolarov is our next gold card with a 79 overall rating. This left back has been scoring free kicks like it was nothing recently. He scored, I think, a couple. Um, sees himself get an overall upgrade of one. Um, and up next is the newly ball, the former Arsenal man Bakri Sagna, who comes in at 79 overall, which is one down from last year. But to be honest, I'm just glad this guy finally shaved off those white dreads, whatever they were. Brazilian center defensive mid Fernando, who transferred from Porto last year, sees himself a team the same rating as last year, 79 overall. Uh, this guy has yet to show his worth at City, and with the arrival of De Bruyne, may not get his chance. So Fernando really needs to step it up. Gal Clichy gets an 80 overall card, which is nearly the same as last year. clichy has been injured for the most of the start of this season, and has seen his position being dominated by Kolarov. Uh, Clichy's really going to have to work to get that spot back, in my opinion. One guy who is definitely scared for his position out the window is shut is Aliquia Mangala. This center back sees his FIFA rating the same as last year, but fears for his position in the side with the arrival of the best defender last season in Liga BBVA, Nicholas Otamendi. Uh, Mangala came over from Porto from a huge fee, and he definitely needs to prove himself if he wants to stay in the side over Otamendi. Uh, Fernandinho sees his rating drop two overall, which is a bit harsh, as with Toure, these two have proved to be a pretty solid defensive midfield in my opinion. Veteran defender Martin Demichela sees a jump to gold rares. He obtained a 2 overall upgrade from last year, 79 last year, 81 this year. Uh, and this guy was pretty much the only steady defender in city side last year. Winger Jesus Navas sees his rating drop 2 overall, which is the same as last year. It's unbelievable to think that this guy was an 85 overall in FIFA 14. Um, but he only drops in 2 in the pace category, so in face stats this guy should still be about the same and definitely a heavily used BPL winger in FIFA Ultimate Team because of his pace. After transferring from Swansea, Ivorian striker Wilfred Bowen, he hasn't seen much playing time in Pellegrini's 4-2-3-1 formation for obvious reasons. Sergio Aguero is definitely the dominant main striker and this is why Boney hasn't played much, yet Boney keeps his 81 reading that he had last year. Fan favorite Pablo Zabaleta sees his card remain the same as the start of last FIFA. Uh, he got an upgrade to 83 in the winter, but Pablo sees an 82 rated card for the start of FIFA 16. He's been injured at the start of the season, so currently Sagna is playing that. Sagna uh, received an inform, so he's playing pretty well. Uh, Zabaleta's going to have to get healthy and get back into the side. Uh, the 49 million pound man Raheem Sterling receives an 82 overall card, which is two up from last year, uh, and oddly receives a left mid card. I know that's what he's been playing. Uh, for Manchester City at the moment, but he does have a cam card that was released recently on FIFA 15. Nonetheless, with the, pres with the presence of Silva and De Bruyne, Sterling being a left midfielder allows him to get into the ultimate team side and the side in real life. The man who single-handedly kept City's UCL hopes alive with Barcelona with that penalty save against Messi, Eng English international keeper Joe Hart receives an 83 overall, 
which is alike his upgraded card he received in the winner of last FIFA. I definitely think this guy should be one of the highest raiders and keep uh, rated keepers in FIFA. Tell me what you guys think, because I definitely think he deserves more than an 83. Uh, French left midfielder Samir Nasri sees his card drop one overall, but honestly, how has it not dropped more? I really don't think Samir Nasri has had a huge impact in recent years for City, and I don't believe that this season he will see much time aside from being a sub with Raheem Sterling now on the side. A huge acquisition for Manchester City, defender Nicholas Otamendi receives an 84 overall card, which is much deserved. This brick wall obtained a whopping 7 different inform or special cards on FIFA 15. Big things are expected from this Valencia transfer. Captain Vincent Company, hopefully pop- partnering with Otamendi in the center back role, receives a 1 overall downgrade after a shaky season last year, yet his card still looks pretty good and he has had a good start to the season. Still one of the highest rated defenders in the BPL on Ultimate Team. Yaya Toure, the heart of Manchester City, the engine, receives a 1 overall downgrade after an interesting last season. Though he finished hot and is off to a hot start this season, he was definitely a stud for me in 15 and I hope his power carries over to in 16. His power and long shots just were crazy for me and I cannot wait to use him on 16. Wolfsburg transfer Kevin De Bruyne is an awesome addition to City. He receives a 3 overall upgrade after a brilliant season in the Bundesliga last year. I expect big things from this young guy and hope that he can be what puts City over the top for a guaranteed BPL title. At 87 overall, Sergio Kuhn Aguero will be one of the most used cards in FIFA without a doubt. His combination of pace, shooting, and dribbling makes him the most complete forward, not the most complete, but definitely a complete forward and a threat to score at any time. He's arguably one of the best strikers in the world at the moment, and he is the one who makes City go at the front. Now the highest rated player at Manchester City side is the Spanish midfielder David Silva. Thank God this guy is not a left mid left midfielder anymore. At Cam he is much more of a threat and he can lay in many balls up top. I'm super excited to use this guy in FIFA 16 and look forward to seeing all of the assists that come from this position. With the release of FIFA 16 I will be doing a tons of player reviews and FIFA related videos. I'm super excited. And that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.